that process, Republican Senator Bill Cassidy of Louisiana. Sir, thanks very much for spending part of your Sunday with us. Casey, thank you for having me. So let's start with the climate. For so many Americans, this was really a taste this past summer of how the climate crisis is going to start to impact their lives. It really already is. In just the last few months, uh, Louisianans, those in your state, experienced sweltering heat. There have been record water temperatures in the Gulf, other extreme weather events. Uh, you're representing a state on the front lines of this crisis. Did the last few months drive home the threat of climate change for you? And what are you doing about it? Well, a couple of things about that. Uh, I'm aware that my, my state has lost land about the size of Delaware, so we're no stranger to this issue. You've got to have a rational response. What people um, sometimes forget is that emissions from the United States are now lower than they were in 2005. Lower, despite a bigger economy of many more people, etc. Why? Because natural gas has replaced coal. The drivers of international increased CO2 emissions Asia, but principally China. Now, if we're going to have a rational solution, then we need to address China's emissions. I'm about to introduce legislation for a farm pollution fee. If China does not want to enforce international norms for the environment, then and they want to import a good to us, a good that we would not produce here because of the associated air pollution, we'll put a little bit of a fee a little bit of a fee, if you will, to pay back the United States for the harm that China is doing. So one, I'm going to continue to promote things like natural gas to replace coal worldwide, and secondly, try to specifically address China's particular role in driving increased uh, air pollution. That could drive up prices a little bit for Americans. Do you think you can get 60 votes in the Senate for that? No, proposal? not if you, Casey, if I may. We already have tariffs on those Chinese goods. And so what this would do, it would replace the tariffs that we have now with a tariff related to the pollution that they are not paying to reduce. By the way, I'll point out, uh, we are already paying for that pollution. Uh, about 25 percent of certain classes of pollutants in the western United States come from China. It blows over the Pacific. We're paying now. Let's just make the Chinese pay instead of us. All right. So you just heard the FEMA administrator warn that the disaster relief fund is going to run out of money. Um, we're not even in peak hurricane season yet. Um, and House Republicans are demanding spending cuts right now. This is bringing us to the brink, potentially, of a government shutdown. I mean, would you support more money for FEMA? And would a shutdown be acceptable to you? I would absolutely support more money for FEMA. Absolutely. Americans help fellow Americans. And we in Louisiana are so indebted to those fellow Americans. But everybody, if you've not yet been hit by a disaster, sooner or later one will hit you. So we're, we're committed to helping Hawaiians. I think the Cajun Navy is there right now as a direct group from Louisiana. As regards government shutdown, it's always talked about. It rarely impacts the lives of individual Americans. Most likely there will be a continuing resolution, but I do think that there will be eventually funding of the government. All right. uh, so let's talk now about the presidential race. We are 72 hours from the first uh, Republican presidential debate. Uh, it's going to be missing the front runner, Donald Trump, the former president. He is facing federal charges uh, over his efforts to overturn the election. And you did vote to convict him in his impeachment trial after January 6th. You said, quote, because he is guilty. Uh, the former attorney general, Bill Barr, says that the, the charges that have been brought against him are, quote, unquote, responsible. Uh, do you agree? Well, I'm not an attorney. There's 91 charges, I think. I think the charge that seems most likely, I mean, seems almost a slam dunk, is the one related to mishandling of classified documents. So, um, uh, so I, I can't comment on the rest of them because apparently you have to prove state of, state of mind. Uh, you'll have attorneys after me that will, can comment on that. But there's at least one, which is the mishandling of the federal documents, which is um, seems, again, a very strong case. They have a tape recording of him speaking of it. I, if that is proven, then we may have a candidate for president who has been convicted of a crime. Um, I think Joe Biden needs to be replaced, but I don't think Americans will vote for someone who's been convicted. Uh, so um, I, I, I'm just very sorry about how, how all this is playing out. Do you think that Donald Trump should drop out of the race? Uh, I think so. But obviously, that's up to him. I mean, you're just asking me my opinion, but, I, but I, he will lose to Joe Biden if you look at the current polls. I'm a Republican. 
I think any Republican on that stage in Milwaukee will do a better job than Joe Biden. And so I want one of them to win. Uh, if, if former President Trump ends up get, getting the nomination but cannot win a general, uh, that means we'll have four more years of policies which have led to very high inflation, to a loss of purchasing power for the average American equivalent to $10,000, uh, and to many other things which I think have been deleterious to our country's future. So if Donald Trump does ultimately win the Republican nomination, uh, will you vote for Joe Biden or the Democrat over the Republican on the ticket? I'm going to vote for a Republican, but my threshold issue for any person who wants to be the leader of our country is will you take care of the issues before us? Both Biden and Trump both have the same policy on Social Security, for example, which is to do nothing. Unfortunately, Social Security is going insolvent in eight to nine years, which means that somebody watching this who's getting Social Security is going to get a 24 percent cut. Both former President Trump, President Biden are basically, basically saying you're going to get a 24 percent cut because I'm not going to do anything. Now, my threshold issue, if you want to be a leader of our country, is to lead. And right now we need someone who will lead on that issue. Who on the debate stage on Wednesday night uh, of the other Republican alternatives to Donald Trump do you think could be a leader on this issue that you raised, Social Security? Well, at least some of them are talking about it. Frankly, I have a different approach than they, uh, but at least they're talking about it. The first thing is to acknowledge that there's an issue. Now, the, now, the reason I hesitate on that is that the program I put forward, and again had seven Republicans and seven Democratic senators supporting, was to create a fund um, separate from Social Security, no Social Security dollars, to invest in the U.S. economy and allow it to grow over time. You do that, you can take care of 70% of the shortfall, and you can make sure that there's no cuts for people currently receiving social. We also put in work incentives, we repealed WEP and GPO, and we also put in poverty alleviation provisions. Uh, President Biden could have endorsed it. Instead, he's decided to be political and make this an issue. It should be an issue, but it should be an issue of fixing it, and so far he's not come up with a credible plan. All right, so one last question for you, We're just sticking with the debate stage coming up on Wednesday. We know that the former president, Donald Trump, is planning not to be there. Was it a mistake, and do you think the debate's going to matter? Oh, I think the debate matters. Uh, uh, um, Governor H. Uh, Hutchinson, who's a great guy, uh, just pointed out that some legal scholars think that he'll be disqualified based on the 14th Amendment. I'm not sure that's true, but I'm not an attorney. Uh, which means that the people you see on that stage one of them quite likely will be the presidential nominee. And I think any of them would be better than Joe Biden. So if you're concerned about the future of our country, watch that debate, find your candidate, support that candidate. All right, Senator Bill Cassidy of Louisiana, uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Very interesting conversation. Thank you, Casey.